Hi everyone and welcome back to the 163 Coventry Phoenix Squadron DCC Concepts competition. I'm Holly Carr Bryce. And I'm Ethan Byrne. And today we'll be doing an unboxing video. In this first box that we've been kindly donated by Backman, we'd like to thank David Morehouse and Richard Proudman for the Railway Children's set. So let's see what's inside. Side of the box, as you can see, it is included with a railway class 5700 5, pannier tank. It also includes two coaches and, and a scene craft model of Oakworth Station, as seen in the classic film The Railway Children. This is everything included in the Backman Railway Children set. Again, we would like to thank David Morehouse and Richard Proudman, and especially Bankman. Thank you. So the next pa package that we have been donated is from WWS Scenery from Martin, and we'd like to say a special thank you to Martin for organising it. Thank you. Let's see what's inside. This package has been very well wrapped. So, in this package, we have been donated the static graph layering system. So, as we can see here, we have different types of static grass. We have patchy, autumn, deep, wild meadow and spring. Here we also have static grass layering spray. And some basing glue. And a pro grass micro static grass applicator. So once again, thank you to Backman and WWS Scenery for, don for donating these things to us. And again, thanks to Martin, Richard Proudmore and David. In a few minutes, we'll go have a look at the layout of the track. And see how well they're doing. Here we see Cadet Carter Price laying down the, uh, the cork in order to allow the track to go on. We've done a majority of this track already because it's taken quite a bit of time and we don't have long left before the competition finished so we wanted to make sure that we've done a large amount of it. Here we're just waiting that on the, uh, the cork just to make sure that all the glue is setting and everything and it sets completely flat so the track doesn't have any bumps or anything on it. I'm just going to wipe the glue around the sides to ensure that we don't have any bombs on the outside of the track either. The wiring is just being placed through now. We soldered all the, uh, we attached all the wire to the track through soldering, and we've got many sets now. It's pushing the wire through so we can. Hook it all up underneath. Now we're just drilling into the track to nail it all down so it lies flat and perfect with the boards.
We're using a small hand drill to uh, efficiently make the holes in the track. Now I'll clear counter prices, just drain the last hole and then we'll be hammering in the nails after. I'll be using these very tiny pins that are very delicate. These nails are the perfect size to fit in the track and it holds the track down very well. So we're just nailing in the pins to hold down the track nice and neatly. The next thing we plan to do is uh, set out the scenery as well as ensure that we uh, design so all the main movement that we have are all well done and all work. I have drilled these holes very evenly along the track just to make sure that they stay in place the whole time. The problem with some of these nails is they bend quite easily, so we have to pull them out every time they bend. The nailing is now almost done and we're almost done with the track after this. When you're in the middle of putting in the pins, it's very, very difficult not to bend them because they are very, very bendable. And you've also got to make sure you put it in the right place at the same time. Next I'm going to attach this track to the end of this track. That fit perfectly and now I'm just going to align it with the end of the cork just to make sure that I can fit the pins in and it stays on the cork and then the track will be done. As you see, I just bent that nail because I accidentally hammered a bit too hard.
when you're in the process of hammering and popping in the pins um always make sure you leave one piece of track at the end of the lay at the end of the track just that if you have to connect another piece of track to it or just in case you have to cut off the end bit and connect then it will always be available for that to happen so just make sure you always leave one or two at the end so as you can see here i'm just on to pin it i've just put in the last pin so therefore this whole piece of track is now all pinned down so it will not move if i try and move it it won't move so this whole piece of track have all been pinned down the wires have all been placed in and then next of all i'm just going to put this bit in pin this bit and pop in the wires